Yo, what's happening everybody? King GBL here and welcome back to a brand new Gobatlik video. Today we're going to be showcasing a really fun and spicy team here. Well, of course, Trevenant and Wolverine are not too spicy, but I would say Slurpluff pretty much is as spicy as it gets here. And, you know, not only is it spicy, but it's hot. It's flame throwing hot. Um, we're going to be just absolutely melting down Trevenant and Farforns in this video. So this is definitely going to be a fun one. Uh, really quickly before we get into it, guys, hit that like button. It's absolutely free and it helps me out an absolute ton. I know it's very like cliche to say that, but it actually does help out quite a lot. Uh, drop me a comment down below, guys. Uh, you're gonna see me running here, Fairy Wind, Flame Floor, and Play Rough for the first while. I cannot get my hands on any TMs. Let me know if you guys are in the same boat, and uh, let me know what you guys think about this Pokemon in this cup. And last but not least, folks, hit that subscribe button. It is absolutely free of charge. Special offer today, free subscriptions to the channel. And if you guys are interested, join the Discord community. We have a lot of amazing members in there. And generally, it's just really good vibes on this channel, and thank you everybody who has been just putting good vibes in the comments and really showing support in these videos. It does mean a lot, and I do want to say a big thank you here. With all that being said, folks, let's hop into these battles. I hope you're all having a fantastic day here today, and I hope you're all having a good weekend. Uh, let me know if you're going to go and get yourself Regileki. Um, I'm in Japan here, guys, if you didn't know. And this Regileki raid will be in about four hours from now. I think I probably will go and get it. Um, last time, it was a little bit of a mess with Regidrago. But I do want to get Regileki um, just for a Pokedex entry. Uh, we don't actually have, like, Easter and stuff here. Of course, if I was back home in Northern Ireland, like, I would be having, you know, family dinner and stuff like that. So I likely wouldn't be able to go out for the raids until at least the five o'clock one. But... Honestly, I'm not even joking when I say this. I'm going to raid Brigileki because I want to get charged TMs. <laughs> like, that is literally why. And I'm just kind of hoping that they've got legendary spawns afterwards. Because last time, Regidrago did not have it. I've seen some people catching some really strong legendaries like Boswell and stuff like that. I, I unfortunately wasn't able to see any, so fingers crossed Niantic don't mess it up again. But <laughs> let's hop into these folks. Um, Slurpluff really is amazing in this league. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why would I run Slurpluff when I've got a Roserade? The main difference is this is a lot bulkier. You do reach the moves a little bit slower. Um, so it takes 7 Fairy Winds to get up to the Flame Floor and 7 for the Energy Ball. And if you're running Play Rough, like I was, it's 776 seven, or it's 766 six for Energy Ball. So Energy Ball at 55 energy versus 60, but Play Rough does 108 damage versus 90. Plus you get the special type attack bonus with uh, Play Rough. So I noticed when I was actually running Play Rough, my performance was better somehow. Even against Lanterns, you're going to need to land two moves anyway, so it actually kind of works out a little bit better having Play Rough, I think. I generally would recommend running Energy Ball because, as you've seen in that Tentacruel matchup, it just does a lot more damage and we almost took it out, which is kind of hilarious. And we do Shadow Ball the, the big Weezing here, and yeah, this is looking okay here. You know, so definitely Tentacruel is your roughest Pokemon for this, um, that's kind of what you have to look out for. But it is nice to have that extra coverage, and surprisingly, even though I've got two Pokemon here that can uh, deal super effect, well, actually, three Pokemon, including Wolverine with the Earthquake, um, I actually really struggled against Lanterns with this team. Um, right here, I, I played this really well, I think. Um, not throwing in my charge moves, I basically swapped out of the Trevenant match, I forced the opponent to throw energy, I farmed it down, and then just farmed everything down. So sometimes that's what that's the best thing to do. Uh, in comes a Rosary. This is a good matchup for Wolverine, unless they land a Leaf Storm. But of course we're not going to let anything like that happen because you know that would just be crazy. And um, we're we're going to fire off the Icicle Spear here. Boom! Uh, the opponent shields it. So you know we've got a shield advantage here. I'm like, right, you're uh, you're going to fire fire off the Leaf Storm here, are you? They go for the Weather Ball. So I'm like, right, that's fine. They've uh, built up to another move. I'm going to let this one go, and it's the Leaf Storm. <laughs> so uh, yeah, rip. The good thing here is, you know, with Trevenant in the back, you know, let's say this exact scenario happens, Trevenant with loaded energy is just deadly in this cop. Look at this. Look at this. If that was a shadow, it would have one shot. I decide to swap straight out, build up energy, and yeah, this should be foregone conclusion here. Um, we can just farm up to a couple of energy balls. Basically, no shield everything. Um, look at that. It does over 50% damage on the, um, the lantern. We can live any one move here. And that is the one amazing thing here. Um, like, that's done about 30%, so like, from full health, they would need free surfs to take us out. You know, Rosariad, like, it does start getting a little bit dicey. Um, the opponent actually shielded up there, which was not wise. And I can just uh, let this go at this point. I think a Surf will just about take out. It does. And the opponent has another move here. So at this point, we can let this go as well, because I know the opponent has some energy as well. Um, so yeah, there's the, the energy with the Mawel. I maybe could have just shielded up that first one there. Probably made more sense, but the way I was looking at it is, you know, I don't want to leave myself in a position where um, the opponent can just fire off a move and take me out. Um, so yeah, that was kind of the thinking there. I think actually what I needed to do was shield up the Surf, make it like a little bit more comfortable versus the Mawel. So that was a slight misplay because it was making it, you know, a little bit dicier against the Mawel, but I was able to farm down and good games there. So let's hop into this next one, guys. Um, like I said, you're about to see me just absolutely fry things with this uh, Slurpluff. We're swapping in here. Um, this is a neutral match and we're going straight for the Play Rough right here. These battles are all out of order, so 
I don't know what I've done with this editing, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've completely messed this up. I think I've put some of the later battles in at the start. And um, the early battles here, we did get a 5-0 set using Play Rough. In comes a Furforn. Do they know about the Flamethrower, ladies and gents? No, they do not. No, they do not. That does an absolute ton of damage. And we're going to go for another one here. And the opponent will have to throw off like an Iron Head to... Well, not an Iron Head, a Flash Cannon. Um, to like take us out from full health or whatever. But the Power Up will take us out. But the damage has been done here, folks. And we can come in here. I probably should have came in with Trevor. Um, but I did decide that I wanted to keep Trevor here. So I decided to come in and just uh, go for an Icicle Spear. I probably could have overfarmed a little bit more, but definitely do not want to eat um, a power weapon this thing. Um, in comes the Dugong, and this is pretty easy here. This thing only knows Ice moves. Um, Icy Wind and Aurora Beam, I think. So there's just really no way they can win this uh, versus Walrein. I'm just overfarming and overfarming. I'm expecting a catch, but the opponent doesn't make one. So we just fire off the Earthquake. Um, of course, we're debuffed. In comes a Victory Bell. So I'm like, ladies and gents, what is going on here? Uh, with Victory Bell... You could maybe just build up a Shadow Ball, but I don't care. Like, I just want to get off the damage. This thing is so, so glassy. The opponent froze here, which, um, I'm not sure if this is correct or not. I feel like that was kind of a mistake. Because as you can see, they're getting us down really low here. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think it wasn't going to work out for them either way. Uh, sorry, I cut that off a little bit too short. Sorry. But we just one-shot the Dugong anyway. Um, so with a Tentacruel lead, you do have to stay in here. Uh, sorry, just two quick notes on this video. I um, hope you guys like the new, uh, like, typing boxes on the left. And I noticed when I was listening back to my intro, um, the mic is crackling a little bit, so I'm sorry about that, if it's a little bit annoying. Um, I don't really have time to troubleshoot my mic right now, I've got to look after the kids here in about an hour, so I'm just trying to get this video out. So uh, hopefully we'll have it fixed for tomorrow. But I hope you guys like the new typings, and um, we're going to fire off the Earthquake. Generally, you can get off two Earthquakes against this thing, um, which can put you in a uh, good position to farm down. This is just going to be an Acid Spray. But like I said, with uh, 1 to 1 shield and loaded energy, Trevenant's deadly. Now, I do swap straight out because I want to try to maintain it. And in comes a Roserade. Do they know about the Flamethrower, ladies and gents? I mean, Roserade shield everything, don't they? Not this time! Not this time! We absolutely one-shot the Roserade. And we're going to go for the player off here, which of course is stab and um, it's neutral damage. That absolutely wrecks the wall rain. Of course, an energy ball would be even better in that situation. Um, so, like, def definitely, uh, you know, I said earlier, like, you know, my, my performance was better with player off, but energy ball is definitely the better uh, coverage move here. They go for the Icicle Spear, and at this point, I don't, I, I this is a mistake that I make sometimes. If you're going to do this, if the opponent has a shield, right, at least farm up to the back to back first, and then throw the move, do you know what I'm saying? Because, like, that move that I threw, this is allowing them to get off another move. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter, I, I do get to the move anyway, but like I would have already farmed them down at this point before they're able to throw that Icicle Spear. So, um, that's like a little mistake that I, I sort of make in my games sometimes, and it's something that hopefully uh, you guys can learn from watching these videos. Um, you know, in general, if the opponent has a shield and it's one on one, um, if it's, you know, you're both doing a lot of damage to each other, um, build up to the back to back and then throw, don't throw straight away. I don't know why, but I just get like a little bit scared. Uh, sorry for cursing there, I'll, I'll have to edit that out. Um, I, I That's just like natural nature for me, by the way. Like, I just swear, just naturally, it's the Northern Irish in me. Um, that's just kind of like normally how we talk. Um, so, well, not everybody, of course, but you know, that, that's just a normal thing. Um, yeah, Pelly here, it's a uh, fine matchup for Walrein. I think Walrein actually does win that match. Um, they can land the Hurricane, which would do a ton of damage. But we've got a shield advantage, and again, uh, with the shield advantage and the Trevor here, um, we're probably going to shield up the Hurricane here. And again, we've got loaded energy. And Trevenant is basically the best safe swap in the league. Because here comes Bruxish. I think I've thrown bad timing here as well. I always miss time my throws here uh, whenever the swap in. One, yeah, so at least I've done good timing on the second time around. I'm starting to see some Bruxishes uh, enter the fold here. And in comes Weezing. And here's a Mosquito. Yo, I got it first shot. I got it first shot, ladies and gents. Let's go. The opponent's using Sludge. I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, but we are going to go for a flame for here, which will just absolutely chunk the wheezing. <laughs> Yo, I'm so happy. Getting a mosquito first shot is so satisfying. Um, it's not as satisfying as landing a flamethrower in a fire foreign, but, you know, it's pretty close. We can go for the back-to-back, -back, uh, flamethrowers here, and that's going to be enough to take out the wheezing. GG's to the opponent. Yo, I'm actually super happy. I just sniped that thing. I, you know, I should edit in, like, the little sniper sign from Modern Warfare 2. Let me know if you guys ever played Call of Duty. Um, I was a huge fan of Call of Duty. I know this is so random and so off-topic, so... Sorry for the random tangent here, but let me know, man. I used to love Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, like COD 4, all the OG CODs. Um, but, so this matchup right here, um, if you're curious, like, how this is supposed to play out, um, Trevenant wins in the 2 shield, and Walrein wins in the 0s and 1s. 
Um, so if the opponent does start bringing it into the two shield, you do sort of have to swap out or get them really low and go for a farm down or something. But of course, like even if you do put them in a close enough uh, farm, farm down range, let's say you get them down to like 50% or whatever, you know, it's still a tough farm down for Trevenant and eating seed bombs on your own Trevenant is tough. So maybe like after they, they shield the second time, you want to probably just swap straight out. Um, in comes Wall Rain, uh, we're just going to fire off Icicle Spears. About two of these will just about take out. Of course, not, it'll just about not take out. And of course, with Power Powder Snows, we can't take it out. The opponent is full, uh, forced to shield up the second one. I do catch a move here on Slurpluff. And you guys are about to see here, this Hurricane, we live those. Like, could you eat a Hurricane on your, um, on your, what do you call it? I don't think so. On your Roserade. This is the thing with Slurpluff. Like, you can actually use it as a damage sponge as well. In comes Trevenant. We over farm by like one or two here because I know that the opponent will be able to reach a move, um, which is perfect. As you can see here, the opponent does just reach the move. But we're in like in a position now where this Weller Ball, it's not going to take out and we're getting to this move in time. So um, definitely keeping track of energy. It's quite uh, quite useful in those situations where you can get the slight over farm. Um, I knew that the Trevenant, I think, just free off just before the swap out. So I knew that I was absolutely fine there. And was that a charge? No, I think that was a fast TM I got. I was absolutely furious <laughs> getting the fast TM um, off uh, Gobaldi set. I swear, like, the ratio of fast TMs to charge TMs is kind of wild. All right, so good matchup here. We've got a bomb of snow. They need to build up to seven, and then I think on the second time round at six for the energy ball. Of course, we can fire off uh, super effective uh, icicle spears the whole time, but energy ball would do a ton of uh, damage to Wall Rain. I always feel like this is a an, an advantageous matchup for Wall Rain. But, you know, I'm just never, like, really sure about it. And um, the opponent's going to fire off a move here. Do I let this go at this point? No, I do shield up the energy ball and CMP. Um, this has to be one for wall rain, right? I feel like it has to be in every shielding scenario, basically. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so the opponent, I was sort of expecting a catch. I was kind of expecting my Icicle Spirit to get caught on a tentacle. Um, so, like, I wasn't patient there, which I probably could have been. But here comes Slurpluff, and here comes uh, Ferrothorn. And I think you can tell by this Fairy Wind damage that this is not a highly rated one. They go for the Mirror Shot, they do not get the debuff. How much damage will this do, ladies and gents? We almost one-shot... Actually, we do just one-shot it. That's obviously, like, not a very highly rated Ferrothorn, because you've seen the one earlier. Actually, no, the one earlier was debuff. That's why it didn't do as much damage. That does crazy damage. It does, like, over 80% or, like, maybe even 90%. That does so much damage, and the opponent just top left, because they're like, right, okay, well, I did not expect that one. So here we go, we're going to swap into our, our Slurpluff, uh, just safe swap this in. And the opponent is staying in, ladies and gents, we go for the, <laughs> the flame for her off the rip. Will the opponent anticipate it? No, they do not, ladies and gents, and we've almost one-shot it again. People were not expecting this. People were not expecting this. In comes Mantine. And at this point, we're going to fire off a player off, which will do a decent amount of damage here. Um, in this matchup, this is where player off is better. Because you're, you're bringing it down to like 50% with that player off. Um, that's honestly amazing. Like, earliest will take out. But at this point, we can just come in and farm this thing all the way up. Um, we can throw off an Icicle Spear, which won't take it out. But we will get a farm down at this point, which is going to be beautiful. So, uh, this is looking really positive here. And that Flamethrower just absolutely rips through them. The opponent's bubble beaming me here, making sure that I get enough farm, which is great. Um, at that point, you just don't bubble beam. I, I myself uh, fall into the trap of, um, okay, I'm actually over farming here. I probably could have thrown off the move a little bit sooner there, but this is absolutely fine, I think. Um, I do decide to go for the bait at this point. I think I'll bait one and then swap out to Trevenant. Um, yep, so one to one shields. This is pretty easy for Trevenant. We're doing super effective Shadow Claws. This can be a crunch, so, um, I decided to shield it up. Um, the opponent goes for Psychic Fangs. And again, like, look, this is where I should just be farming the whole way down, folks. Um, the opponent is shielded, but, you know, I thought that they wouldn't get to a move anyway. And we just go for the, um, you know, the, the opponent's really low. Like, in that situation, I, I could have just went for the full farm down. And we go for a, a 5-0 set, folks. Absolutely fantastic here. Um, in comes a Wingull. And I think I go and t uh, catch this little Togetic that's sitting around. I can't wait for this Togetic uh, community day, because it will help me uh, build up the Dusk quite a lot, which... You know, with these cups and everything, I'm just building, you know, random Pokemon like Slurpluff. You know, putting like 150k into these things. But actually, first said, what I was doing was going, um, double fire. No, sorry, triple fire. I was running Mawile in the lead with this Pokemon and, uh, Roserade in the back. And I just got absolutely lit up by Tentacruels. I just got absolutely fleeced. So, um, I just sort of had to change it up straight away. Um, here's a good matchup right here again. We've got Roserade. Uh, let's see if the opponent lets it go. Of course not. Um, we can eat a move, they can't. And we do decide to catch here on the Slurpluff. We'll see what the opponent wants to do. And watching this back, I'm not sure if I like this too much. Um, the opponent fires off another move. 
And this is, is this going to be a bait or no, it's not. Yeah, it is a bait, so that's kind of nice. The opponent's actually staying in here a little bit and I make another mistake here. I just have to let it go at this point. I, I completely messed up that part of the match, but at least we can get a farm down with Trivenant. I needed just to throw off that move straight away. A really, really bad gameplay by me because um, it takes them three and then two. And then comes, in comes the Shiftery, bro. I'm like, I just absolutely threw this match. Now, here's the thing with Shiftery. It takes a decent amount of damage and we do have an Ice Skill Spear pretty much loaded. So we throw between their move. Um, that will force a shield, and then comes Tentacruel, we've got two shields, can we reach the Earthquake in time? Again, look, the opponent made the exact same mistake that I've been making. Instead of committing to the entire farm down, they actually let me get off the Earthquake. I think they were going to get the farm down, and that, like, literally the opponent froze the game, doing exactly what I'm telling you guys not to do, and exactly what I've been doing, which is a mistake. Now, here's the thing about Trevenant versus Shifter, you're right. You go straight for the Shadow Ball if they've got no shields, because even though it's resisted, it'll do like over 40% of their health. <laughs> I think that was like 50%. So uh, even though it is a resisted move, Shiftery is just so glassy. I've tried using it, but it's just pretty hard to run in this meta. It's just pretty hard to run because it is so glassy. So yeah, definitely a lot of misplays by me, but um, the opponent actually, you know, sort of returned the misplays and that was good. Um, so we've got a pretty positive lead here as Weezing. Now, the overheat will do a lot of damage, but do I let it go? I do decide to, to respect it, because sometimes they just uh, overheat and dip. At this point, I'm expecting the catch, but... So I overfarm a little bit, right? And then... Uh, th this is so annoying, honestly. <laughs> I, I was trying to be patient. Like, in my mind, I was thinking, right, okay, they're going to go for the catch. Just be patient, just be patient. And I'm like, okay, they're staying in here, let me throw this, and they catch at the perfect time. Super annoying. Um, at this point, I have to no shield the Shadow Ball. I can't go down uh, two shields. And I have to come in and go for farm down with Full Rain. So again, like another pretty uh, questionable play by me there. I, I guess it was just so bad timing with the catch. Um, I'm pretty much forced to go for a bait here. And the opponent, they let it go. So <laughs> this is just going from bad to worse here at the moment. Can we still turn this match around? And um, the opponent goes for the shield. And at this point, I'm going to let this go. Um, this could be overheat. And look at this, we're just absolutely eating overheat. But here's the thing. Oh, the opponent gets the farm down as well. This just looks unwinnable from this point. Um, I decide just to, you know, shield up, because why not at this point? And yeah, I just don't think there's a way back here. Definitely my misplay, like, really cost the match. And um, the opponent's going to get the, the fireball off here. The fireweller ball. Good game to the opponent. They probably should just be committing to the full, you know. It doesn't really matter anyway, but they should just commit to the leaf storm or grass knot at that point. Um, GG's. Uh, you know, if you misplay, you lose. Um, here comes Ninetales. We're going to swap straight into our Slurpluff. Now, does the opponent know about the flame floor? Ladies and gents, we're going to let this first one go here. It is a Weller Ball, which uh, Ninetales is just so much damage, it's crazy. Um, at the very least here, we're going to be able to force a shield, and the opponent shields it up, so they must know about the flame floor. Um, at this point, I'm thinking, right, this flame floor will just about one shot. So what I can do is just basically force a shield off the opponent. The opponent goes for the catch, bro. I overfarm by one as well. It's like, ah. Oh. These opponents keep catching my moves, bro. <laughs> like, it is so annoying when that happens, when you're trying to be patient. But we get off another player off, ladies and gents. And the opponent's probably thinking here, oh, it's just a flamethrower. That is not a flamethrower, folks. And that is where the player off is really, really nice. In those neutral situations, yeah, player off is amazing. So it's kind of hard for me to recommend Eiler. As you can see, like, player off actually kind of worked out better for me in these matches. Because in the Lantern match, you do need to land two moves anyway. So, like... It doesn't even really help you that much, like it doesn't help you flip the match. In comes a Quagsire, so the opponent's giving me a win condition here. Um, I can come in with Trevenant, they know Stone Age and Earthquake, um, which takes a while for them to get to. And this is going to allow me to basically farm up to the back to back. One, two, three, four, okay. So I think they're on five, and I think second time around they reach the move at six. Six, yep. Yeah. Uh, we can shield this up. And what I can do here is just farm up another one, two, three, okay, so farm up to the back to back. Um, because that's all I need at this point. We're going to fire off the Seed Bomb. Good night. And we're going to fire off uh, another Seed Bomb. And this will be good night to Ninetales as well. Um, so, like, Ninetales is such a scary Pokemon. But it is pretty glassy. Like, that Seed Bomb did take it out from a, you know, pretty decent range there. And um, here comes a good po uh, positive match for us. Now, the opponents... Okay, they, they decide to go for a catch. So, I am being... Like, I'm trying to be patient. You can see there, I don't throw the move straight away. Um, I am trying to be patient. And uh, in comes Slurpluff. This Earthquake or Icicle Spear would chunk a little bit, but they go for the Icicle Spear bait, which is kind of annoying. And what I decide to do here is throw the Flamethrower, right? To make them think that I don't have Energy Ball, but the opponent lets it go anyway. Um, I was expecting a shield there from the opponent. And in comes a Whiskash. So do they think that I don't have the Energy Ball? And um, we can eat anything here off this thing. Does the opponent know? Ladies and gents, has my trick worked on them? Um, I can just about live this, I think. Just about. 
so I don't think I was going to get off the back-to-back. -back. I could have maybe considered shielding there. The opponent just shielded up wisely. Yeah, so unfortunately we're not able to get off both there. Um, but we do have a 1-1 to -one shield scenario with Prevenant. I'm going to fire this off straight away, because they might want to commit to the Blizzard. So I want to put the pressure on straight away to them. And um, we're going to swap straight out. In comes Pelipper, we farm up a little bit extra. And as you've seen, about two of these take out uh, Pelipper. So we fire off the first one. The opponent is in range. Um, was the opponent at the Hurricane at this point? They were, which does take us out. So I probably should have shielded that one up. But I decide I can sweep this with Trevenant. Um, this will just be a Weller Ball. But what I can actually do here is just farm all the way down. And uh, go for a Seed Bomb on the Whiskash. And that's going to be a good night. The opponent did build up to the Blizzard here. But they're not going to get it off. Um, so I think LRA that would have worked out fine. Um, I could have forced the last shield off the opponent. Or I could have, um, you know, just do what I did there. GG's to the opponent, sir. And we've got an Onyx. So yeah, like, like I said, for a safe swap, like, you just have a really nice coverage. And um, I definitely was enjoying this Pokemon light uh, quite a lot. I do highly recommend it, guys. It might cost like 100k to power up or whatever, but I do think it is actually worth it. Um, mine was like at 100 CP um, Pokemon before I powered it the whole way up, so it did cost me a little bit extra. So you guys can probably get this on the cheap, and it is a really nice anti-meta, which a ton of people don't expect. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, it's very much appreciated. All subscriptions and comments are very much appreciated as well. Uh, thank you everybody man, uh, help me get up to 1300 here, we're really close, and uh, join our Discord community if you want to run some practice battles, and uh, get to know the community here. Thank you everybody, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll catch you all next time.